welcome to the fourth part tutorial of how to model a centrigan. So we are going to continue where we left off and it's pretty much here. Uh, what I mean, uh, we have a little problem but I guess we can fix this, it's not something big issue. But uh, something about this hole is a little bit bigger than the hole here there. But you know we can assemble things like connections in order to uh, make this done correctly. Also, I think that we lost the pivot here, the center here. So I'll try to bring this back like so. Right click, choose vertex. No, you know what? I just did a few things that I shouldn't do. This is why it become like that. Sorry. I was trying something, but this is where I left you, by the way, and this is how it should be by now. So, the next thing is to create a hole here, okay, at this area here, and then uh, squeeze this th whole thing a little bit inside, so it will look pretty much as like on the pictures, okay, like here, it's a little bit narrow here, I think, narrow, no, narrow, I don't know. So. Let's do this. We are going to bring this to object mode, shift, right click, insert edge loop. I want to add one edge loop somewhat here. This will be the edge loop that holds the hole, okay? And we will create offset edge loops according to this one. Sorry. Uh, it's not really working right, so let's just add manually and edge loops. So one here is fine and one at the same distance here. Okay, now we need extra more. I think we need extra more, I'm not sure. Let's do one more here. One more, sorry, one more here. Okay, now we're gonna grab these four and the four here, okay, those in the middle, basically, and press delete to delete them. The next step is to take and this one, like cylinder, it's poly pipe, okay, so polygon pipe, create it, and it's here in the middle, so I'm gonna rotate it first, and bring this up over here, and maybe a little bit more up. Now, in this hole here, the the one we created here, we have eight vertices around here. Okay, so one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So basically, we need eight, uh, eight subdivision axes on this poly pipe in order to create a <clears throat> a hole. Okay, this is uh, eight. It's like pretty much fair enough to make a hole that when we smooth this uh, item it will look like a circle okay you, we can do this also with six and four but uh, I prefer to to use eight for this thing right now so I'm gonna change the attribute editor in the attribute editor I will change this subdivision axis into eight like so and I'm, I'm gonna push this over here and even so I'm gonna right click choose faces and delete those faces okay press F8 it left me with these I wanna bring it over here and the first thing I wanna do is uh, change the pivot here into to attach this pivot to this vertex here. So I'm gonna do this by pressing home for Mac users and insert for Windows users. So home, uh, you should be on the move tool by the way. Hold down the V and click somewhere here with your middle mouse and drag it to snap over here. While it's done press home again and now we're gonna move this to here and 
I just want to snap this to the middle line here, but I will use this uh, this vertex here to snap it. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's not really on the same size as everything here, so we can scale this so it will fit this portion. Okay. And we will do this even more. It's just for now. Okay. We're going to really scale this down some, but right now I want this to be at the same level as this side of the wall, okay? And I want this also to be like that. So what I will do, I will start to scale this on the side, squeeze it like so, and when it start to, you know, when it touches this surface we'll try to do something like this okay now it's not the correct way to do this we basically need to choose those faces and extract them okay extract them from the other portion so mesh extract and we will need to adjust the pivot here the same so let's grab this portion F uh, sorry move tool home button or insert button depend on your operating system and snap this to here and again home or insert and snap this over this vertex here okay so now they are both aligned to each other uh, the correct position we're gonna select this one is already selected so let's center the pivot for it so this is the center and here we will do the same so grab this and modify center pivot. You can also use the Y or G key you know, to repeat the last function you used. So now that when they both uh, catched, we will scale this to about so. Okay. So you see, this is uh, yeah. I think something like that it's fine okay now the other one should be the same so we will switch to the scale to the side view at the orthographic view select this portion here and scale it to the same size okay now if you don't know uh, there is a thing that's called normals in 3D programs. Normals are basically the direction of um, that the face is projected, the texture, okay? So basically every time when you uh, take a shot and you want to render a shot, uh, you got to make sure that the normals of your models are facing uh, over you, okay? Towards. I just just a little bit hard for me to pronounce this but uh, yeah towards I think <laughs> so towards towards you never mind so how we know what's the direction of this normal uh, it's really important uh, basically uh, mainly when you want to connect um, faces from other objects like we are going to do right now okay we already did this over here with this uh, thing and we didn't really uh, pay attention to normals but it's very important to know that you are doing it right okay so the way to see normals direction is basically to pick your object go over modify sorry display nerves and normal shaded mode okay you see those green lines that appears here they are pointing to the over there means that if the camera is here it still means that it's pointing um, you know, uh, in front of us, okay, over us, so over the camera. So this is how it should be, and it shouldn't be uh, like that, okay. So here you see dots, but the normals are pointing inside the model. This is not how it should look like. And just for an example, if you are going to create wall, you know, interior wall. So let's say this will be the room. Okay, so by default the normals are from 
pointing outside. Okay, let's see this. Okay, they are pointing outside, and when you want to take a shot of uh, inside the, uh, the room, okay, the interior, you should make sure that the normals are pointing inside because this is what the camera sees, okay, the inside. So this is just a little bit of explanation about normals and it mainly affects the way that your texture looks and your BAMP maps and stuff like that. So for both of them they are um, clearly pointing out because this object has started as a pipe and I didn't uh, rotate it like, you know, I didn't did what I just didn't, uh, did earlier. So these faces are pointing there and these faces are pointing there and that means that everything is alright. Okay? But try to make sure you uh, notice those things. Okay? So the next thing is to attach these faces to this portion. So I'm gonna grab all of them at once and going to click mash combine all of them. Okay? So now you can see <laughs> everything is showing us uh, those normals okay you can even choose the scale for them okay but this is basically how it looks uh, from the normal views you can turn it off by simply go and choose normal shaded mode again okay now we will go over the edit mesh and merge vertex tool and we're gonna attach this point here over this here and attach this one to here this one over here, this one over here, this one over here. And basically we are just patching this everything together so we won't have any holes here. Okay, so it should look like this from here. We're gonna do this the same for the other side. One here, one here, one here, one here, so on. Okay, so now if we will press 3 to smooth preview it, we will have some kind of a hole here. Okay, it's not big enough, but it's fine. Now, the next thing is to try and do something about um, those lines here, okay? Because basically it shouldn't look like this, okay? You need to make sure that they somewhat at the same level, and if they are not, so it's a little bit problem. So we want to double click on them and make sure that um, they are like so. No, I don't want these, and I don't want these. Just want to bring this to somewhat like so. Let's see this, okay? And let's do this over here. Also, unselect those, and at the other side, they already also been unselected and bring this over here okay so now we can come and choose vertex and grab these <coughs> sorry grab these basically what I'm doing I'm maintaining the flow of uh, everything here okay so it will uh, be a, li a little bit more than it should uh, be okay the flow is very important and making a huge difference on your model and if you are not maintaining this uh, it can cause problems and affect the way that things look on your model so I'm just bringing them together you see everything is now like a bunch of like a group here and I do have a problem and we will fix this and I have many problems never mind <laughs> so we're gonna just manually move those into place, those vertices. Oh, I didn't select this, so I guess I'm a little bit in trouble here. Sorry about that. Okay, now this one has been selected and fine. So, something like so.
Let's press 3 to see this. Okay. Now it looks better. And press 1 to exit this non smooth preview mode. And. You know. <clears throat> uh, okay. Let's do something else now. Let's first of all grab these vertices here at the corner. Those at this side. And those at this side. And we're gonna squeeze them a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit, like so. We're gonna do this from the side view of the orthographic view. Now we will unselect those and squeeze it a little bit more. But you really need to be gentle here and try to maintain this flow of this uh, side because it's very important to that it won't look uh, like it looks you know like this uh, it's okay you can do this but you know it's not what I'm trying to achieve here trying to match the same thing that we see in the picture so at least this sometimes control can help you if you click hold control and scale or move or stuff like this it maintaining some uh, it's just making things uh, with A's, I don't know, E's, A's. Okay, like so. Now those unselect them, and those a little bit more. And finally, those here, which I think that you should bring them a little bit down. Okay, you can bring them down. Oh, this is a little bit too much. Uh, let's just make sure they are aligned with the same angle of this. Okay, and let's press 3 to see this. So it looks like this right now, but don't worry, we are going to fix things here. So, now we're gonna shift right click while it's on object mode, insert edge loop. We're gonna add, sorry, we're gonna add edge loop here like so and we're gonna add one more edge loop here this side you're gonna right click choose faces okay and I want to choose these here okay now I know that it will select those also because I selected them gently um so I can come here right now and extrude those out like we have in the picture. Uh, it's good to make sure that keep faces together is checked when you are uh, doing extrude functions because sometimes if you don't uh, things will be will look like the same but apparently, uh, if you grab this piece here, you will see that they are broke into faces uh, that separated. So make sure that you know what you are doing with this. Okay, so that's fine. Let's <coughs> add two edge loops. Sorry, sometimes it just not responding as you want. So I add off. Oh, this is just annoying. I will have to zoom in and add one more here. Okay, and now here we will add one. No, one here and no, one here. Okay, now we can chamfer this vertex because uh, it will help us if we like to do something here. So just come, edit mesh select those two vertices and chamfer them like so and then you can simply come and insert edge loops one here and one here to maintain this area okay now we need to maintain another two areas uh, the first one will be down here below so we will add this one here and we will add one more here okay so it will look sharp and now if I will press 3 
you can see what the result of all of this work okay so it looks like this the only problem we have that this area here is not square enough okay and we need to make it squarey so in order to do this uh, we simply need to add two more edge loops here but this is uh, not what I want to do but we will have to do this that way okay unless you have time to start and uh, build this <coughs> at the correct way so you see it adding two more here that later on can make some distortions here on the shape but let's see that's ah, it's okay that's fine as long that here it looks squarey okay so we have this and this is good now if you really want uh, you can you know it really depends on what will be later on but we can grab this one and scale this and try to match the other one so we will use the orthographic view and choose this inner and scale it to the same size don't be lazy always use the ortho orthographic view because it's just simple enough and you know it's making your work a little bit, bit, bit a little bit better so this one is done as far as I can see and what we will do here is very simple you take this shape go over edit mesh uh, sorry, edit, duplicate spatial op options, okay, and I don't know, I don't know what will be the start point uh, of your uh, model, but as you can see when I'm looking at this like so, okay, the X pointing there, that means that this is minus X, okay, this is the negative, the to the right it's the negative x and over there it's the positive x okay so we need to create a positive copy on the x uh, because the x is pointing here to the left you can see when I'm rotating it it's changing changing okay so right now if we are at this point it will relay on our view okay and we need to create a copy which is in the positive x to this side so what you do, go, go over here, edit reset settings, this is by default what will be, and you need to leave, I think you need to leave everything here as it is, okay, and just click duplicate spatial or apply. So as you can see, I clicked apply but it didn't do nothing. So maybe we should come to the X and tell it to do negative one, okay and click apply because maybe the view should be like this okay so this is basically what happened here never mind okay as long that it works for you and you have another copy here now we will grab both of them mesh combine right click vertices grab all the vertices in the middle we want to get closer go over edit mesh merge options and click apply and look at this so we press 3 to smooth preview everything and just taking a look if there are any problems with our geometry so it seems that everything is fine here by now and I think I will yeah we, we will leave it for it looks here like we have some kind of a uh, no it's okay okay um, let's do this part let's exit the smooth preview and just forget about it so I will double click on this one shift double click on this one go over extrude and switch to the scale tool and bring them almost like so go over edit mesh merge vertex tool and sorry the options for merge vertex tool to the center okay switch to the center and then we will patch them so 
doesn't matter from which point I'm choosing, I'm starting, they both will meet at the center. Now I did a mistake here, so it's better to zoom in and see what you're doing. Okay, like so. Thought that maybe it's better to keep this open, but okay, I've done another mistake here. And that's fine. Now we will add two more edge loops, but because when I'm closing it, uh, basically if I'm going to modify it later on by the you know by the scale of this hole, I will need to modify it. It will be a, a little bit more tricky for me. So I leave it to you, you know, uh, if you want to add this thing here, add it if you don't want. Uh, it's not something that people will see, by the way. Okay, adding an offset edge loops, so it will be even there. And we will do the same here. It was easy if I was just grabbing this and do this all thing again just grabbing this half cut delete it press F8 and create a copy and now I will have this already here again grab them combine them right click vertices and grab those middle vertices and merge them okay so this is how easy for this part. So, three, sorry, three again to see, look at this. And yeah, it's kind of look okay, I think. If we have any problem with the height or something like that, you can always come and choose those vertices at this area. Again, orthographic view is better, but we can pull this up a little bit if we need it to be a little bit more height and it's always have to be uh, you need to know what vertices to choose when you do things like that when you want to scale things um, like if I want to open these two the, to spread this um, you know distance in between them um, you should have choose all of these and all of these together at the same time and use the scale tool or whatever and if you this is basically for the uh, mo for the part that you're assembling everything because um, we are not using image planes we will always have some um, you know misproportions in the parts that we are building and we need to make sure that we are trying at most to maintain this uh, at the same time that we are building this okay and not leave it for the end of the uh, tutorial and then start to tweak things because uh, some things are can be done after so try to work on your model and make sure that everything is in some kind of a proportion to what it will be later on okay uh, again I left you the pictures so there, there is no reason for you to make sure that everything is uh, quite uh, of the same size and st scale okay I'm not using them because I don't know I trust my my own uh, eyes okay uh, sense of I don't know so that's it for this part uh, we will continue create the pivot later on and stuff like this and whatever I will choose to do so um, see you next Bye.